Hello everyone, um, this is Sean from DFW Scooters and ATVs uh, bringing you this Hawk 250. Do, doing a little review on this bike. We just got them in like a couple months ago. So this is a new redesigned version of the old Hawk, which I'm pretty sure uh, most of y'all are uh, familiar with. If not, go look up the old Hawk 250 from RPS. So now this is the deluxe version. It's the Hawk DLX cross country, is that what they call it. So let's look at some changes that they did to this bike. First of all, what I noticed is the forks right here. They've done a good job. They changed it out, uh, put some inverted forks in there. So it has more compression, it's a lot more sturdier, it has bigger oil reservoir in the shocks. So that's a lot good. And uh, if you look at the tires, they're more street friendly. You know, uh, they were uh, more aggressive. So th these are nice ones because they don't wear out the studs uh, fast enough when you drive on the streets. And plus, it's still pretty nice, decent when it when it comes to dirt roads, you know. So you still you can use it for on and off road. And I'm pretty sure you guys have been looking at the Apollo 250 Street Eagle and other ones too. And you'd be like, hey, you know, these are better than those because they still has a lot of depth in them right here. So that's pretty cool. Disc brakes in the front, that's good. That's, that's not new, but it's nice. Like the brake lines over here, they did some changes to that, I believe. On the old ones, they were not as good as this one. It has like some rubber uh, hard coating on uh, on the exterior, so that's pretty cool. And they made some clamps for it, which is really neat. Before, they used to come where, you know, they're all over the place, you know, uh, and it's really hard sometimes because this could like get caught on to something, so that's nice. They put a little bracket in there to hold them. Let's look at the speedometer stuff, the front end of it. <clears throat> So pretty decent when it comes to that. I like they changed it to digital, that's nice. Also has a check engine light right over there. And neutral uh, light button, uh, light gauge, I'm sorry. You got the hazard light gauge, the blinkers and all that. High beam, low beam, all that is there, that's nice. I like it, it's digital, that's the main change over there. And the lock mechanism is pretty, uh, pretty similar to what they had before going on. <clears throat> so this one right here is your um, choke. Oh no, this is not the choke. Oh, okay, that's nice. It used to have like a choke over here before, but this is more like the lights. Nice, on and off. Pretty cool, like that. And uh, this one is high beam, low beam, right there. That's cool. Your turn signals, horn, not bad at all. Okay, your engine on and off, so that's kill. That's, uh, it will start it up like the position that way. That's your electric uh, start button, I like that. Now let's look at the engine part of the deal. Okay, so the main thing I noticed, the main difference on it actually is the exhaust pipe. I really like that. It's stainless material right here. See that? Which is a lot better than just like the regular coat they used to have over it. So this is stainless, so that's nice. That's that's one of the changes they did. And then that's your mission, that's for the emissions. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got this. One of the biggest changes, and they were like <clears throat> talking about this before they came out, was being a EFI, the electronic fuel injected. So now that's, in some cases, like, you know, it's half and half, I would say. You know, in some cases, you know, carburetors are a lot easier to work with. That's what people say about it. And then sometimes people shy, shy out because, you know, uh, it's fuel injected and they can't work on it because there are people that do want to work on their bikes. But on the other side, you know, you don't have to choke it like that because it's all fuel injector so that's nice you know and then got the passenger pegs and all that back tires same as the front ones they did a good job with that back brakes all disc nice little swing arm in there foot press everything's good stainless pipe like we talked about and not really much of a big change in the uh, tail end of this thing. It's nice, you got the plates, uh, you got the spot for the plates. Now with us guys, we have all these in stock, all different colors, they come with you. If you can see the color scheme on it, uh, they changed from Fender plastics, they put some dual colors come with it because Hawk used to be just like a single solid color and that's it. Now this one right here is more like the um, dual color version. So it has like a little carbon fiber grayish in there. I see a little red and black mix so that's that's some cool uh, design um, on the fenders you know i really like the color scheme and same as usual you know like the motor mount support right here it's pretty general on all of 250 so that's kind of neat over here at dfw scooters and atvs we finance them too so your <clears throat> application runs we get you approved 
and we can uh, let you take this bike for as low as like hundred dollars a month guys we do down payments as well so that's another good thing please look uh, up the description below for all the financial information like financing information uh, we also have um, online orders too so we take online orders so if you guys want to like just go and place an order just comment below we'll uh, reach out to you guys I want to give us our phone number and everything so you can like you know uh, schedule that for you guys financing let's see what else oh yes making it street legal guys so you got to watch out on like what do you need from your local DMV to get it registered most of the time you just need the manufacturer certificate of origin but a lot of times they might ask you for the bill of sale odometer disclosure statement so you just got to uh, tell us which state uh, you're trying to use it for so we can work accordingly with y'all uh, with that but yes in Texas though there's not a problem we take care of all of that for you we get you temporary tax put on there we get you your title plates um, mailed to you guys your place and you can walk out with like you know temporary plates that's uh, good for about like two months so inspection all of that taken care of so for Texas not a problem for other states just let us know we'll work with y'all guys and um, we're located at 2618 Earl Drive Grand Prairie Texas 75052 you can call us every day 10 to 6 we're open uh, and our phone numbers are 469-471-8915 or you can call us also at 469-579-9299 and just ask for any of the guys over here mike sean sam jerry we'll all be more than happy to help you out out um, and yes please stay in touch and we'll come up with some more videos